This is the Hover Air X1, and it's part of a fun new class of drones that are weighing less than 250 grams. I'm actually quite impressed by its tracking. See, there's a few kinks to work out, but it's exciting. From Tech Asia, I'm Alfie. Let's dive in. God damn it. Beautiful. Majestuous. Peaceful. That's not how I describe the videos from my first drone. And by the way, I endorse that look. Rock on, little me. For a long time, drones were heavy, the camera didn't look very good, and they weighed a ton. All of that changed when DJI, about five years ago, released the Phantom, Inspire, and Mavic lines. They went on to dominate consumer drones. And though I appreciate the quality of these drones, they've kind of lost some of the fun I used to have with them. When I was starting out, there was actually a reason to fiddle with your drone, to tinker with transmission settings, or to build your own. DJI's recent release of a Mavic Air 3 exemplifies this. It's an incredible tool for anyone who wants to capture footage. But it's kind of missing that fun factor, which got me and so many others into filmmaking. But why would drones get less fun with time? For the past couple of years, governments have implemented restrictions on drones heavier than 250 grams, requiring a license to operate them. This has meant that bigger drones are almost exclusively used by professionals. These regulations are there for a reason. Bigger drones can legitimately be quite dangerous. And most of the fun that was going on with drones before is still happening in the FPV space. The FPV community holds drone races and tries to figure out how to get the most impressive shots. But for consumer drones under 250 grams, it was difficult to create drones that were safe and actually useful. DJI was basically the only player in the game for quite a while with their Mavic Mini series. And honestly, it still is. But as battery and camera technology is developing, it's become possible to take on DJI by addressing some of the niches it doesn't address. That's got its drawbacks. The Hover X1 can't go higher than 15 meters and probably can't deal with too much wind. Uh, the, the time where it's, uh, like, if I punch it, but on the other hand, it's the most fun I've had with a drone since I got my Mavic five years ago. It fits into my pockets, it's not intimidating, I've tried hurting myself with it, and despite my best efforts, it didn't hurt me, which is disappointing. If yeah. I really wanted to, I could maybe get my finger through it. If yes. I... And it's a fun party trick if you've got friends around to just catch a drone like this. Now, I don't know much about friends, but I do know someone who knows about cameras. <laughs> With me, I have DJ, who's been a drone photographer for a long time. So when you started out, uh, drones looked like this. Um, so can you tell me kind of the issue around this drones looking like this? This one, actually, we took up uh, a mountain in Sichuan. We had to hire a donkey. Now, this may seem a little big. This drone is something um, that we need for this trip. So um, good luck with that. Uh, fortunately, drones have got a lot smaller since then. Nowadays, for the most part, we're using this very small thing. So this comes in at 249. You can fly it without a permit. Um, however, these are incredibly capable for what they are. Um, they are effectively doing what this was doing uh, just a few years ago. I've got to carry this one, and you've got to carry that one. Why, why am I so big and heavy? Well, you know. They're just much lighter. I mean, uh, if, if you need to, to carry a drone, uh, something like this, can go into your camera bag like an extra lens, both for myself, for hikers, for amateurs. Uh, the lighter, the easier it is, the better it is. And so you saw the footage that came from the Hover X1. Yeah. Would you use that for your drone and phone series? For any kind of social media, that's fine. If we were working on a high-end documentary, however, we would probably go for a slightly bigger drone, but we certainly wouldn't be using something this big. Um, we can still use something like this that has a larger sensor on it, a slightly better lens on it, which gives us more opportunities in post uh, to color correct and match with other cameras. You're saying that there's this difference between the needs of professionals and what my uncle would, would need sending on WhatsApp, right? We've seen this in the camera market before drones came along. You have the professional models and camera manufacturers put a lot of R&D and, and time into professional models, not so much because they have a huge market there. There's obviously a very limited amount of professionals. It's more about the, the signal it sends out. If somebody 
goes to an event, they see all the professional cam uh, photographers using Canon cameras or Nikon cameras. When they go to buy a camera, if they see one that's saying Canon or Nikon or whatever, they're more likely to buy it. And, and it's exactly the same with drones. A fair bit of effort going into the high-end drones, although there's not a massive market there. The big market comes for consumer drones. You know, people say, well, you know, I'm going to get this one. It's cheaper, it's smaller, and it carries the same brand uh, as the people I know who are shooting very high-end. We've seen this explosion of photography since the mobile phone because it's now something that lives in people's pockets uh, and therefore they're far more likely uh, to use it to take pictures. If we can see drones also go that way, uh, we're probably going to see a lot more people deciding to take it out. They'll see some really nice light. They'll have it with them and they're more likely to take pictures. Yeah, I mean, I know I would have been delighted to have something like this or even something like the hover when I was, uh, when I was 14 or something like that. All right, thank you very much. Okay. That's all the flight time we had for this week's Tech Asia. Thanks for buzzing in. I'll hover around till you return to home next week. I could go on all day, but I need to switch out my batteries.